I know a lot of East Coast players are going to Gommel too. It's oh, just... yeah. It, this is definitely, we're in full swing now. Yeah, we're, we're in we're in the motion of the ocean. And now, yeah. we, now, we just, <laughs> now we just gotta find the, who's able to come out on top here. Tilde and Zamba starting off winner's finals here. And oh. Tilde is the one starting to get cooking. That was the smartest <laughs> side beat. <laughs> I did. I would not have thinking that thought of that option right there. I, I'm impressed. It's good, and I one of the most apt comparisons that I've heard from Fal about Falco Phantasm. So I'm going to use it again because it's good. Uh, Falco Phantasm's Dragon Rush. Oh, <laughs> it's just what it is. Right? Never, never thought of it like that. <laughs> Mine actually blows. Yeah, he's just able to close space, get right to you, bypass through some projectiles if played correct, uh, some uh, zoning rather, if played correctly. But you've still got to deal with Robin advantage. The fastball to get by the laser plant a little bit too quick as Zamba misses the footstool dare. Yeah, we saw him go for that a bunch at Crown, and but not able to get it here. Falco kind of has like shortens his hurt box. Okay, yeah, great up front right there. But Falco kind of certain shortens the box. Like her box right there, so really hard to get footstools when he does moves like that. Throwing out that dash attack though, coming down with a soft down air. It seems like Tode has found himself in this position quite a bit. Luckily for him though, I think maybe Zamba actually intentionally took that laser to make sure that Rob, despite how big he is and by how combo he be, combo of what he is, 150 is combo percent for no character. But we'll see, because I feel like Tilde might have something up his sleeve right now. I mean, you better pull it out of that sweep quickly. Oh, the anti-air down tilt may be... I mean, it's setting up pretty all right at the start. Though you are at 100% here, player four. We need something. Yeah. And Rob, as you said, is big. So up tilt, definitely going to work. And just combo food. And you saw Zama try to jump out. So a jump is lost right there. The chase from both of these two trying to heading straight into yeah. him with the fire with the firebird to force a tech situation, which Zamba passes. It's so great. We basically like that was a DBZ situation right there. Okay, side beat fair, and Tilde now has a lead after being such a deficit before. With one of those same phantasms as you saw earlier, catching the rollback. Something he started off, as you pointed out, started off the entire game with. Catching a rollback from Zamba with just a grounded, not even a jump phantasm, just this grounded option. Yeah, Amazing. and the jump one being the safer one, so definitely just a straight call out right there. Absolutely. As we're getting to see yet more combos coming out, more coverage forward air again. How far will we chase for Tilde? This platform is a no-fly zone. Oh, it is not looking good if you're Rob fans right now. Oh. Always got to watch out, though. Rob can kill you so many different ways. Edge guarding is this character's, like, one of, one, one of the amazing things this character is at. Okay, reflect. Ooh. Smash let it rip, but Zamba didn't, uh, wasn't confident that his own would kill at the percentage. Oh, just wasn't confident in the up tilt either. Yeah, and was it set play right there, but ooh, yeah, just got called out by Tilde. Hey, yo, this was beautiful. All right. I'm always a fan of Tilde's offense, like as per what he displays, like constantly across many a player. But this position right here is something that is so frequent for Falco. Yeah. Where you're always going to force, be forcing people to air dodge. That's just what they have as an option. Air dodge or jump. And Falco, with that best in class double jump, means that most players aren't going to try and risk that option and risk getting caught while DI'ing up. So you have to find ways and tools to circumvent this. And the Town and City platform, a circumstantial reaction-based test that Tilde seemed 100% prepared for. Yeah, no, he, he just knows the layouts of where he is and just has a situation for each one of them. And I remember in the beginning of this game where that was just an anti-Falco stage. That's where he took Falco and it's like, okay, this is where I can make my bread and butter. And now it's one of his best stages. Yeah, it just, just yeah. turned 180. I mean, we're seeing a complete pivot off of it to the classic here, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Trying to think, make things a little bit more even when it comes to like 
interactions reg and positions, regardless of where you find them, you're always going to have consistency and advantage. And what I feel like Zamba prioritizes more so than most other players, especially Rob players, is just raw consistency. It's why you don't see him go for as much raw tech and like double tosses, instead favoring positional advantage and more labyrinth repeat edge guarding until you can find the kill shot. Yeah. And we're okay, we're just about to see a crazy combo, but there we go right there. Managed to clean it up until they evens it out to two, two, two a stock. And still on the pressure right there. Samba really tried it twice. He really tried to shield grab Falco Fair twice. Yeah. If know? it doesn't work the first time, it you might work the second. What if he misspaces it? This time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> definitely not, we're definitely blowing past that phase of our life pretty quickly yeah. here. 74% almost unanswered on the part of Zamba. Okay, caught the jump right there. And uh, Tilda just knowing Zamba like didn't want to roll there because it's been reacted to a few times saying, I'm just going to catch a jump right here. Oh, recognizing the minus on hit uh, of the of the reflector, forcing the high recovery from Tilde. I mean, last time you got blown up for trying to get the ledge, you try the mix up, but Zamba covers that one too with the up smash. Yeah, what, what do you do mentally? It's like every time I side B, I just die. Uh, Eventually, you gotta stop. Side. You're gonna try and have to figure out some other way to get back to stage. We will never. <laughs> I mean, mix-ups are mix-ups are there, but all of your advantage right now for Tilde has been strictly on stage, and these parry the parries on these nares are going to pay dividends eventually. You would hope, but here we are again, player for 150. The up smash had a shield even on a Rob down tilt, which is typically very safe. But Tilde calling out that the second one was calling coming from Zamba. Yeah, and that's really smart to do in those situations, just knowing what the opponent's going to do. Okay, there as a combo started, and we're seeing the ledge trap situation. Okay, 71%. This is definitely a dangerous situation for Zombo. Super, super close, but the falling there does get grabbed by Zombo. The air dodge to ledge that time. A nice mix up there from Tilde, who's been playing so close to the chest, so grounded. Not trying to chase unless he has to. Yeah, and we've seen Ooh. all these parries come out, but he's not getting a lot off of them. Okay, I respect yeah. it. I like it a lot, but <laughs> but you're just in a too far of a position. Like that's just the way you have to play around it. Samba put you in a checkmate. Yeah, it was checkmate. That that bird cannot fly. Yeah. It, real shame. I, I guess it's not. It is and it isn't, depending on your opinion of Falco, but this jump sealed. Look at that. The jump lost. Fate sealed on yeah. the part of uh, on the part of Tilde. When you're putting all of your resources into one back it, basket against Zamba and Rob's giant back air, you're just begging for trouble. And guess what? We're back. Here we are again. Back in the city, baby. NYC. <laughs> Here we are. We made it. Uh oh, no jump. Okay. Good job going high right there. <laughs> And now we got a reversal situation. Zamba in the corner, now getting less trap. Zamba willing to take some damage though. Only 36, if it, uh, but you were able to shut down a lot of the extensions by just DIing off stage, air dodging early, get to ledge. Take the hit, take the initial starter, but minimize the opportunity that Tilde gets in order to turn it into your own advantage. Small, uh, and the initial neutral win from Tilde didn't amount much, and Zamba turned it all around. Yeah, no, doing a fantastic job and taking the first stock right there. And, but this pressure laying on by Tilde, I, you just can't count him out in like a matchup like this. Zamba, due to be playing Rob, can just get cobbled so easily. And the fact that Falco can just jump up there and pressure Rob, not many characters can do that. We saw him just go up there and try to up air him, but fortunately missing. But it is a threat that Zamba has to be wary of. Yeah, I like that you bring that up, player four, because like we were uh, complimenting it earlier from uh, from Zamba, where you can just go infinitely high in order to find ways to find enough space to make it back. But Falco and Tilde, especially, is just one of those players and one of those characters 
that's willing to play the vertical burst range on top of these amazing recoveries too. Tilde masterfully moving around the arm rotor and turning those little juggles and those normally safe positions from Zamba into small advantage. Boy, maybe this is going to be the combo. Justin up tilt back air though. Tilde taking it two piece at a time. Oh, that that was the combo right there. I mean, down tilt there. I mean, it was a two-piece, and it made it count at 70. He exploded. And it's just situations like that that Tilde is just, can just do. And just the situation is just reversed now. Samba is now on his last stock. He's getting mixed right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Shot, shot up right there, 91%. <laughs> I mean, getting called out for your Phantasm habit sucks, but Zamba looking for some robbery on that platform, but you're going to risk it all, finding the up tilt, the drag down into the up tilt, into the back air, sealing the fate of that set tilde, cementing themselves into winner's side grand finals. Man, they're like the fact that it all turned around so quickly for tilde is... Yeah. I mean, it feels like Falco in a nutshell. It, it definitely feels like it. And this is basically like brought to by Tilde. He is like the essence of this character because before right. Tilde, the character wasn't thought of as as great. Right. People said you know, he's the worst spacey. He's like C tier, B tier. Yeah. And now everybody's saying, oh, Falco? Up there. Yeah. Like he's throwing hands. Equal, like, equal in strength to many other like meta killers and meta threats just by the nature of what he can do to you in a tournament environment. Yeah. And that's that's in, always going to be valuable if you just have instantly accessible combos because all of stock two was just two pieces. Like, oh, yeah. Up, like up tilt back air. Like that's some good stuff. Like up throw into nair. Like yeah. some good stuff. Down tilt down air. That's a little bit spicy. Oh. But. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, we saw it and we're like, oh. <laughs> you know, and the game just wants you to die when you get hit by Falco down air. Like, that, that seems to get... be the theme of our blog. Right there. <laughs> it's, it's like coded in the game where if you are past a certain velocity, yeah. the bottom blast zone will just. Raise a little bit. <laughs> it's the like, one, hey, die. Yeah. What was it like? Low tides, high tides, right? Yeah, we're, we're the motion of the ocean. Say y'all for that one. You know what? We're making it. We're making it vibe. But that will come to the end of our block here at Zeno 300, as we're going to pass it off to top four, which will be. The Xeno Classic Mataneva and the House of 3K Extraordinaire Actual Garbage stepping up to the plate. Xeno Classic. Xeno Classic. He's a classic here. They're, they're right there. Oh my god. Wow. Right there. Wow. Right behind you the You want to come in the shot real quick? Thank you for this music, dude. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we, right. al we always love. This is Magmore Caverns. Metroid yes. Prime 1. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoy the theming here, and it's always time to celebrate Xeno 300, but that will be it for us as we will go to a quick break. Any final thoughts, Reggie, before we do so? Uh, yeah, please follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> the Twitters are there. Please. Right there. FPIer underscore four. Hire this man. Oh, please. <laughs> Hiring you. I'm right there, too. And, I'll see, and we will be seeing you all uh, this weekend and beyond. Yeah, deuces. <laughs>